Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach James, and today we're going to talk about Rashad Bateman. Um, some drops in the rainy weather, were they warranted? You know, should they have called it? Let's dive into it and see. Because he was pulled at the end of the game, supposedly for being hurt. <laughs> Thank you to the contributors of Sip and Tally Films. Whether you contribute via Patreon or be a member of the channel via YouTube, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I appreciate all you guys that are listed on the screen. If you want to be a part of that, check the comments below for links. You know, after losses, we always look to find somebody to blame for whatever reason. And, um, you know, sometimes be the element. Sometimes you never know what a person's going through or whatnot, but it's tough when you lose games, you want to blame somebody instead of just trying to find ways to get better. But film wise, the film don't lie. Rashad Bateman had some drops that I felt like he should have caught whether it was rainy or not. He also had a good catch too. So let's just look at all his targets and, and then go from there and try to make a, a final judgment about Rashad Bateman's game. Since smoke is being given, you know, around the board in Ra in the Ravens community. Bateman is here. Let's find him. Identify him right there. The drag route. Hmm. And it's clear cut. I think he took his eyes off of it before he caught it. Yeah, that's a clear cut um, drop right there. They bail out in zone. In some kind of zone. Wide open. Now, it's a little bit behind him. Yes. It is. It's a little bit behind him. See, he, he turns around to, to try to catch it. But the ball's cradle right there. It's cradle. Look at his eyes should stay on the ball. They turn to look, you know, look ahead. And it's, again, it's wet. It's wet. You got to lock in uh, that 1% more when it's wet. And he's looking for the guy to, you know, that's potentially going to come hit him or whatnot. And he just doesn't secure the catch. So we all can say that's a drop. That's, you know, there's no debate about that one. Play two, let's find it. I think he's in the slot right here. Right there, if I'm not mistaken. Let's let it run. Now let in route. Great catch. Great catch. Great catch in the rain. All hands diving. Small window. Great throw, too. Not, let's not forget the throw. Great throw by Lamar. The end breaking route. This is them right there coming in, so you can kind of focus. I'm in the way. Hold on. Let me get myself out of the way. All right. That's them coming right there. So if one, Lamar gets it through this window and puts it on him. Look how tight the throw that is. Look how tight the throw that is. So a great throw. Great catch. Hands catch in the rain. Secures it. Make sure, you, you know, you got to catch the ground. Can't, you know, all that. We don't know what a catch is nowadays, but he caught this. Great catch. All right, so, that, you know, the first two, obvious. Drop, great catch. Let's go to the next one. Put myself back in the bottom. Can't put myself back in the bottom because that's where he is. Matter of fact, I'm just take myself off. How about that? Get yourself out of here. Y'all need to see me. They here for film. All right, here he is down here. Plenty of separation. Plenty of separation on his cut. He does a good job of running routes. Now I will give him that. He does a great job of running routes. At least, uh, uh. And this, this is on rookie Kyle Elam who they say was the best cornerback in America this week. I think this is the one target they say that he had at him and, and then it wasn't catch. Is that ball a little bit behind him? Yes. Should he have caught it? I think so. But let's see. It's a, it's a little... Is it a, The thing is, if this is a curl... 
he has a better opportunity of catching. If it's a dig, it's way behind. But if this is a curl, it's a little bit off. But again, I personally think he should have caught that. Because it goes right through his hands. Even though it's a little bit on that back shoulder, it goes right through his hands. So at this point, at this point, the glove should start coming off for everybody. The gloves should, should have been coming off because it's tough. When those gloves get wet, you ain't catching the ball. If the gloves wet and the ball is remotely wet, even damp, you're not catching that ball unless you got hands of stone. Well, not hands of stone, sticky hands, real good hands. Bottom of the screen down here again. <laughs> this this ball probably never should have been thrown, <laughs> but he caught it. This is you know I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say too much about that. This ball should never been thrown, but he caught it. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> All right, where is he? Is he up there by himself? Wait, no, he's right here in the slot. Right here in the slot. We ain't empty. Right there. All right, and then hands catch. So, I mean, nothing wrong with his hands. I think he still got gloves on. I think he changed gloves because he had on black gloves, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go back. Let me see if he had on black gloves at first. He might have changed. Yep, right there he got on black gloves. So he did change gloves. Now he got on white gloves. Look, all hands catch. You know, let's let stick route. Nothing wrong with that. Other than it was second and forever and we ran three yard route. But that ain't on him. That's another story for another day. Great extension. Great extension. So we know ain't nothing wrong with his hands. It's about focus. It's just about focus. It's about focus. And again, he's here. Look at it. Man, this man be killing people on these routes. Look at this. Look how good this is on this route. Ah, 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 ah. Open you up, stick you inside. That is phenomenal. That part of the route, phenomenal. Gotta finish. Gotta finish. Gotta finish. He catch this ball. He catch this ball. And I don't think he get tackles immediately because of where the ball's thrown. The ball gonna lead him that way. If he can make this cat miss, he might score. Might. But you got to catch that. Great route running before the pass. Great job of getting open. Great job of setting the DB up. Got to finish, man. Got to finish. Watch where this ball is. Hold on. Went too far. One more, give me one frame. You can't put it in a better spot, eh? You got to have that. You got to catch that. That's the third drop. And um, I don't, we didn't, he didn't get another target. Didn't get another target after that. I don't know if it was because they had seen enough. He eventually got hurt and was limping off on the play. I don't know if it was this one or not, but you got to catch them. You got to have them. Just like, you know, we get smoke on the defensive side. We got to get smoke on the off offensive side. And Bateman, if he wants to be that considered the number one guy, you got to catch the ball. Got to catch the ball. If you if you're gonna be wide receiver number one, you got to catch the ball. It's, it's it's just that simple. So again, this is a quick video about Rashad Bateman, his targets from Sunday versus the Bills. Um, if you're new here, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to be here when we upload all this good Ravens content. Um, right now, over one of my shoulders, you can see a list of people that um, super chatted during the live stream Sunday, either via the watch party the call-in show, or yesterday with the Ravens Roundtable that session. Uh, I appreciate all those people for the super chats. I want to say thank you again. This is Coach Evans. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Uh, see you guys soon, Ravens Flock. Peace. We're going to be all right.